everyone and welcome to this week's video. This week we are going to talk about the importance of pricing your art. Now pricing your art is fairly difficult to do and what I mean by this is sometimes it's very hard to be objective with your work and make sure that you are pricing your work fairly. It is very difficult um, as artists and as um, individual creators to price your work fairly and effectively. And what I mean by this is sometimes we are in a habit of undercharging ourselves and I'm going to talk about how to try and avoid undercharging yourself when it comes to doing commissions, personal work, as well as printing your work and selling it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is when it comes to commissions. So if you are doing com uh, co commissions for a non-commercial person, and what I mean by this, this is not a person who has a huge branding, or this is a person who is just using this work for personal work, like you want them to draw their, your individual character, or they want you to draw something for a family member, etc. as a good example. Um, what you're looking at when you are doing this is making sure that you cover the cost of your time, your materials, as well as making sure you are making it a fair price, if that makes any sense. So the way I would factor this is, for example, and I will be showing examples on the screen, is I have watercolour commissions and line art commissions, as well as lots of different styles of commissions myself. And if for a non-commercial aspect, I try and make sure that I price this 100% fairly. So one factor is time. If a piece takes you six hours to do, you want to look at the wage that you would normally get. Now for a specialised field you are looking anything from 10 to 15 pounds. Now 10 to 15 pounds may sound like a lot but the people are paying for a specialised thing. So if something takes you three to four hours you want to charge minimum 30 to 40 quid which is roughly about 50 to 60 dollars. Um, so when you are looking at that, um, that is just for your time. That's your time on the piece not covering the cost of materials now therefore a lot of prices may not be a massive amount so you're thinking of the cost of the paper the cost of the material uh, that you are using because that also factors into the price as well so you want to look at adding another 10 to 20 pounds onto that as well and then you're looking into cost of shipping the product uh, so say even if it's a digital or anything like that uh, you are basically giving the person the rights to the use the art and that's just for non-commercial aspects so for a piece that could take you five to six hours you want to make sure that you are charging minimum and i mean minimum of 70 to 80 quid that may sound like an awful lot of money for something to another person maybe a simple character design but you are also factoring the time that it takes for um, sketching, uh, for uh, going back and forth with the client, making sure that it's absolutely fine. And that price would also include up to one to two changes. Any more than that, I would add extra charges onto that. As well as then, depending on complexity of the overall piece, you want to make sure you charge fairly for that. It sounds like a lot of money and it sounds like a lot of things being thrown at you at once but this is how to price yourself, not only fairly, but making sure that you are factoring and covering your costs and time. If you are doing this full time, this is your source of income. You want to make sure that you are covering everything for not only for you, for your personal work, but making sure that you are covering every aspect of that. So a piece that is gonna take you five to six hours, make sure you are charging fairly. But what if it's for commercial work? Okay, so when you are doing something that's for commercial work, this basically gives the person the rights to use the image in any way, shape or form. You are signing over the rights to the image. This is more money. Now, this is gonna sound like a lot of money is being thrown at you at once, but for a piece that could take you six to seven hours for a client to permanently use for whatever basis they want, you are signing over the rights to use the work as they see fit. So I would add another zero onto original cost. 
because you are covering over the rights to use the work as well as printing for their aspect. They are able to use the image for anything. So if you're signing over the rights to that personalized work, you make sure you charge for that properly. There are multi-million companies out there that will do competitions going, hey, design our t-shirt and we'll give you a t-shirt for free. No, that is absolutely wrong. Okay, so say uh, there are ICD competitions happen all the time and it frustrates me to no end. If a person is gonna um, print that uh, work on a t-shirt, they are going to make a lot of money off that design. So you wanna make sure that you are charging 100% fairly because you are signing the rights over to that uh, image as well as they're going to receive a lot of royalties from that image and even if it's for promotional material that promotional material becomes the face of the company so you want to make sure that you are charging 100 fairly i cannot absolutely stand when people out there are going hey it's for exposure or you're doing it for a good cause think of all the exposure that you're going to get your work is going to be the face of our company and it's going to be 100 percent there for everyone to see i have done um work for companies before um and i have done and i have some beautiful horror stories to speak about this of where i have done hours upon hours, I'm talking months of work for a company and for exposure to get nothing, nothing. And I honestly, people could t uh, tell me now that, oh, but you know, as an artist, you know, it is good to do some work for exposure. I 100% and utterly agree with this. So, but do not let companies take advantage of you. Don't let them take advantage of you because I've been taken advantage of in the past and it breaks my heart when I see multi-million companies going, hey, do this design for great exposure and you might win a free t-shirt. That's... <laughs> Sorry for swearing, but that is absolute horse and sausage bananas, everything under the sun. That is absolute horse potato, right? I'm sorry, I'm trying not to swear because I swear like a sailor, but it is, uh, uh. Anyway, make sure you're pricing your work absolutely fairly when it comes to commercial aspects, because not only are you signing over the rights to the image, but they are gonna be using that for whatever. And if a client does not give you the money for the aspect that you are doing. So say for example, a client goes, hey, uh, we want to do some work with you and um, we're not quite sure what style we're going for. Make sure you are charging before they get the finalized product. So the way I would do it, if it's a commercial aspect, I would ask for a percentage of the money up front before I even started doing work. And the reason being is sometimes you'll get a client go, it's, we're just gonna get our friend to do it for free. And you would have wasted hours upon hours upon hours working for this particular client to get nothing out of it. And it is so frustrating when I see this. So if you are working with a big client or a client that you could potentially get a good paycheck from, make sure you take a percentage of that paycheck first in case they turn around and say hey we don't want to use you anymore this is a way to um cover your time and resources that you would have used before that project would completely and utterly fail all right so we talked about um using your work for aspects and this um for commercial work and for non-commercial work if you are doing commissions so what about printing okay so this is where it gets a little bit more complicated when it comes to pricing your work for printing so for example um you are looking at profit margins time taken as well as the worth of the overall piece so when you are selling a print Okay, I am the worst when it comes to pricing. I, I undercharge myself all the time. And so what I do, first of all, is I do research on your market. Look at your fellow convention goers, your fellow print sellers, and look at what they are selling and how you can match their prices without undercharging, undercutting them, or overcharging um, for a particular piece. So I have a big group of art friends who I absolutely, utterly adore. Um, you've got my wonderful friend Discord Designs, Chow Illustrations, Blue Fate, um, uh, Baggy, and 
there are so many people that I could literally list off and I have wonderful conversations with them every single day and we talk about pricing our work and trying to keep it fair. And also with on us, we try and make sure that we can price match our prints. This is so that when a person comes around, they are not getting confused by the prints. So for example, I sell A5s for three pounds. That is super cheap in comparison to what a lot of people do, but my A5 prints cost me around about 25p to print and I do all my own printing at home. I use a Canon IP850, I think it is, I think. Well, I have to double check that, um, it will pop up on the screen which one it definitely is. Um, but I use that printer and I print all my stuff from home. I use a uh, high quality 220 GSM paper. Um, I use gloss at the moment, but if I switched over to satin, which is more cost, um, I would have to up my prices. That is just simple. Like you've got to factor in the cost of your paper, the cost of the ink, your time that you are taking while you are printing, as well as time as it takes for you to do the piece. It's a lot to think when you think about it. But when we are looking at pricing and how we can change those certain aspects, we are thinking overall on how we can um, charge ourselves fairly, so to speak. So, prints, you are charging cost of the, uh, cost of the materials, time taken on the piece, as well as look at your target market to what everyone else is charging for. There's a difference between a photo print and high quality print. Um, you've got to look at the cost of materials and longevity as well. So when you are thinking about that, make sure you are charging yourself fairly. Um, you basically want to cover the cost of the print, double that. So say the cost of the print, um, say the cost of your print was £1.50, okay? Well, it's £1.50 plus £1.50, so that's £3, because you want enough to print that piece as well as print another piece, so you're covering your costs and doubling it, and then add extra on top. So if a piece costs me £1.50 to print, I am going to charge 5 to £6 for that print, and that is because you are covering your time, your printing costs, as well as being able to print another. And this is so that you can sell a portion of that print and be able to cover your costs as well as make profit. Um, you wanna basically be able to sell a portion of that product to be able to cover that product so uh, you would not cover, you would not have a loss completely say if that product was not successful. This is just business things. It is just, you basically wanna make sure that you are covering everything. It's just, it's, it is very complicated but you do pick it up fairly quickly. For example, I sell my stickers, which I hand cut and I print them all myself. Um, apart from the Kiss Cut print, uh, stickers, I actually get them outsourced because I do not have a Cricut printer. Um, but essentially, if something is costing you um, one pound, one dollar to make, you wanna charge minimum, and I mean minimum, three to four pounds for that product because you do not want to undercharge yourself. It is criminal when I see someone selling a keychain, like I'm talking like I have winning keychains that I've got like these ones. They are my pride and joy and I sell these for six quid, okay? Because printing these and assembly, so printing these per unit is one pound 80 per unit, okay? And then I have to hand assemble them all myself. Okay, so that's £1.80 plus the time it takes to um, assemble the keychain, which sometimes is really annoying when your fingers do not want to work. But this, this £1.80 and then I sell for six quid is enough to cover the cost of the product as well as print more. Now, for some of you, you may be thinking, oh, but you know, it's, it's a key ring. But then I see people charging £3 or £2 for something that has potentially cost them like one pound eighty to print. That is a ridiculously small margin that you are covering the cost of printing that material to make profit. It is criminal when I see people massively undercharging their work and it makes me so sad and so angry. So when you are covering costs of your materials, you want to make sure that you are charging fairly. I really, really hope that this has been somewhat helpful in any way, shape or form. If anyone ever has 
any questions about pricing i will try my best to answer them i am a bit of a hypocrite sometimes because i have undercharged for stuff a lot in my past i used to charge for six by four prints i used to charge 50p for those and it would cost me 35p to make so i was barely covering costs at that point and that is something that you really need to think about when pricing your work be fair to yourself your work is 100% worth it and people are not just charging for the materials and for the overall product but they are you are charging for your time taken as well as the years that you have taken into learning that craft I have been drawing now for over 14 years like I have taken my time to get to the skill level that I am and I am still learning and still improving every single time I draw I'm not at my peak uh, you will never hit your peak when it comes to art if you are consistently trying to improve yourself and trying to get your work to the standard that you are 100% happy with if you are not 100% confident I understand that but please please charge fairly when it comes to your work I know this has been a very long video but I really hope that you've taken something from this and you've been able to apply it to yourself I hope you all have a wonderful day make sure to keep drawing loving what you do and as always folks stay creative bye <laughs>